Hello my fellow working class heroes, good day. I am Carlo and welcome to Carlo Excels. These are the objectives of this episode. Today we're going to talk about a Conlectio Assessment Summary Template. First, we're going to have an overview of this template and then how to download this summary template and then how to input data into the Assessment Summary Template and then how to print process data from this Assessment Summary Template. Before anything else, if you're new to this channel, hello, this is Carlo Excels, a channel that is dedicated to teaching my fellow teachers here in the Philippines Microsoft Excel. Occasionally, I also create Microsoft Excel tools like this that will be helpful to my fellow teachers. Please like this video and share this video to your fellow teachers and drop a comment down below. It'll really help with the YouTube algorithm and help those who are searching for this to find this. Thank you. So what are the features of the assessment summary template? First of all, this is a per subject and per class assessment summary template. It can handle up to 20 classes of up to 100 students each. This assessment summary template can instantly, instantly calculate metrics such as highest obtained score, lowest obtained score, average score, standard deviation, and mean percentage score, also known as the MPS. It can do this on an overall basis and on a per class basis. This assessment summary template can automatically arrange raw scores into a format that can make it easier to further conduct additional data processing. This assessment summary template features a ready-to-print format. No further adjustments needed. No more adding columns or subtracting rows or deleting cells ready to print format. All you have to do is just enter the values and it's ready to print. This template is a Microsoft Excel template compatible with Microsoft Office versions 2007 and above. Please note that this template is made to not be compatible with Google Sheets so you cannot use it online. Please download the template and use it offline with compatible uh, Excel spreadsheet programs. So how do you download this template? Now, if you look at the descriptions down below, you will find there a download link. So please click on that link. When you click on that link, you will see a screen that looks like this. This is the zip file which contains the uh, template that you're looking for. So all you have to do is to click on that button on the upper right corner of the screen to download the zip file and then extract the contents of the zip file and you will find the Excel template. Please note that this template is free to download, free to distribute, and free to use. It's primarily made for public school teachers and administrators because well, it's free to use and so therefore it's cheap, no further statistical programs needed. There are also certain features in this template that makes it also usable for private school teachers and administrators. My only condition for this is please do not sell it or edit any part of it when you give it to somebody else. If you received it to me for, uh, from me for free, please uh, do not sell it to somebody else. Just give it also for free. And again, if you're going to distribute it, please do not edit any part of it when you give it to somebody else. So when you open the Excel template file, this is the first screen that is going to greet you, the general information sheet. So if you look at the lower uh, left corner of your screen, you will, you will see the four sheets of this template. You have the general info sheet, you have the input sheet, then you have the printable results for quarterly, and then you have the printable results for the overall. Um, now, let's start with how to fill up information here in the general information sheet. So filling up the information in this general information sheet, I suggest that you start with uh, the order uh, in which you see them in. So you start with the region and then you work your way down towards the approved by. So let's fill this up. Let's say, for example, um, let's pick a region. Say I'm going to pick region 4A. Now, if you pick a region here, the divisions of that particular region should automatically also appear here. By the way, I got this. Uh, region and division list from DepEd's own website, so I really hope it's complete. So, uh, say for example, I am from Batangas City, Region 4A Division, Batangas City. Then you pick a school year here, uh, drop down box on the right. So, let's say uh, this is school year 2022 to 2023, and then let's enter a school name. So, let's say for example, this is uh, YouTube University uh, Basic education department like so then we enter a six digit uh, school id so if you try to enter anything else of course uh, the template is going to complain uh, please enter a valid six digit digit school id so let's try a fictional school id like so then you input a grade level so say for example i'm going to input the assessment summary details of grade seven and then subject for technology Technology and uh, Livelihood Education. Whoops. Livelihood Education, just an example. So what assessment is this? Um, if 
we're talking about quarterly assessment, then you put in here a uh, quarterly assessment. You don't have to put in the quarter. Or for those who are still uh, going to assess, for example, total written works. So whatever it is, uh, you input it here. So what assessment is this? For example, we are going to input uh, total written works and we're going to assess the results of that. So there. Now, as for the teacher part, please input the name of the person who is going to prepare this. So, for example, I'm going to put in here uh, Juan de la Cruz. Next, please input the name of the person who is going to check and approve the documents that are going to be printed from here. So, uh, whether it be your subject coordinator, department head, or your principal, or school head, or director, whatever the case. Uh, let's say, for example, this is going to be uh, Juana de la Cruz. Like so... And then, please input the position of whoever is going to approve this. So, let's say, for example, Juana de la Cruz is the principal. So, that is gen the general information. Now, let's proceed to the next part of the template, which is the input part of the template. So, on the input part of the template, let me first describe uh, what parts are which. So, uh, on the leftmost part, you will see here, of course, whoops, you will see here, uh, you have here the different the, the columns for the student numbers like so that's a guide for you and then the orange part is for the first quarter so you have here space for 20 classes here from 1 to 20 and then uh, you have here the space for the highest possible score for the assessment that you're going to uh, assess for the first quarter so this is the space for the first quarter so uh, this is where you put in the names of the classes in other words the names of the sections this part here and then this is where you're going to input their scores so again highest possible score of the assessment of the first quarter the classes that you're going to assess for the first quarter and the scores of these classes now if you scroll to the right you will see their space for the second quarter so second quarter same thing highest possible score of the assessment for the second quarter, the classes that you're going to evaluate for the second quarter, and then the scores of the students for those classes here on the space here. Then you have here a uh, space for the third quarter, and then you have here space for the fourth quarter. So that is what it looks like. Let's try inputting grades uh, on the first quarter part. Uh, I have here sample grades. So for the assessment that I'm going to assess, so total written works, we have a highest possible score for all of the written works for this quarter. Highest possible score is 50, like so. So I put in there 50, and then let me copy-paste the data I have here. So let's say, for example, I am going to assess the results of six sections. So you have here the sections Sampagita, Raflesia, Rose Mallow, Waling Waling, Ilang, and Garlic Pear. So you have six sections, and each section has... Say, for example, a very conservative 20 students each. So you have here the scores of uh, 20 students. And what's the next step? You're actually done after you do this. So after you have here all of the class names, you input the highest possible scores, and then copy-paste these scores from your existing class record, you're ready for printing. So look at the lower left corner of the screen. You see their results quarter. So you click on that. You go to the, uh, we proceed to the printable results uh, quarterly sheet. So you see here, it's written there. This sheet is designed to be printable on, printable on A4 size paper. Please don't change the page layout, page margins, and print area. So you will see there, there is a space here. It says their quarter. So on the drop down box, because we inputted uh, data for the first quarter and that's what we want to print, let's pick here first quarter. So once you pick first quarter, you will notice that the template has essentially already filled up all necessary uh, metrics. So you have here metrics, uh, overall metrics for all of the sections. Highest possible score, lowest uh, total number of cases, mm, highest score obtained, lowest scores, uh, score obtained, sum of all raw scores, mean of all raw scores, standard deviation of raw scores, and overall mean percentage score or MPS. At the same time, the template also automatically uh, does a per-class metric uh, of this. So, for each and every class, for the six classes we have here, we also have their number of cases for each class. High score obtained, lowest score obtained, sum of raw scores, mean of raw scores, standard deviation of all raw scores, and then mean percentage score on a per-class basis. So, let me zoom out a bit. And then you will see here, of course, at the bottom of this page, you have here prepared by the teacher and then checked and approved by uh, whoever you set 
um, during in the general information sheet. In this case, we set Juana de la Cruz as the principal. As you continue to scroll down, that is where you will see the raw assessment scores of the students here. So you have here the students already uh, layouted and ready to print for you. So you have here uh, the classes and their raw assessment scores. And you will actually even notice that the raw assessment scores are arranged in descending order. So it is uh, all of them are arranged highest scores first, moving downwards to the lowest scores. Now, I programmed it this way because I understand that there are certain teachers who are doing their action research or uh, any other kind of research in which they have to calculate or they have to look at the frequency of elements, they have to calculate for the mode. So this should make it easier for you to do those steps because the grades are already arranged in descending order. So you all, all you have to do is to count how many uh, instances of 50s are there, how many instances of 38s are there, it's much easier to see this way. So, uh, scrolling up, on the top of the screen actually, you will see here, Active Pages 2. So what this means is, the template has already condensed, automatically condensed and formatted all of the data to be printable in two pages. The template tells you that you only have to print two pages. So, if you do Control p or uh, File Print, like so, so all you have to do is to set uh, to set here pages 1 to 2 because that's all you have to print. And you will see, of course, a template has already automatically formatted it, uh, formatted all of the scores for you in a ready-to-print version. So print that and then uh, you're done. Now I know, of course, that uh, this is not what your class record template uh, is likely to look like. Naturally, uh, in many cases, we have students who are absent in particular assessments. So what about absences? So say, for example, let's input uh, new data here on the second quarter. So let's say, for example, highest possible score in this case is 100. And then I'm going to copy paste new uh, sample data here. This time we're going to have, let, let's push the template further. We're going to have 12 classes and all of these 12 classes have 60 students each. So I'm going to copy from my class record and then paste it here. So in this case, the, uh, the sections are named uh, are named after our uh, amazing uh, national heroes. Now, on this class record, you will see that there are certain uh, places here that have blanks or spaces. So when your class record has blanks or spaces, my dear teachers, you don't have to worry if there are blanks or spaces. You don't have to format this. You don't have to move them up. Just leave them blank because the template is going to recognize them as blank and is automatically going to adjust uh, accordingly. So in other words, leave them blank. Just copy paste from your record and the, you know, the, the template is going to uh, take care of the rest for you. So now that you've entered all of the necessary things, like for example, you already have the highest possible score, each and every class already has a class name, and then you already inputted scores here, you're essentially ready to print for the second quarter. So let's proceed once again to the results, uh, quarterly results tab. And then in this case, if this was first quarter a while ago, let's set it to second quarter. So once you set it to second quarter, you will see again that uh, everything has adjusted accordingly. All calculations have been done. This time for the second quarter, you have here the 12 classes for the second quarter. And then you have here, once again, arranged row assessment scores. Automatically arranged. You don't have to format anything. You don't have to uh, add columns, remove columns, delete columns, copy-paste data. Nothing of that sort anymore because this is just ready to print. So you have here your raw assessment scores. Once again, each and every the scores of each and every class is neatly arranged uh, in descending order. So you have here this page over here, then all of the sections uh, ready to print. Now you will see here, of course, because we had more classes and we had more sections, uh, you now have uh, five active pages. So once again, uh, just print, control P, and then set your active pages to one to five like so because in this case you are now going to print uh, five pages let's now try doing this for the third quarter so for the third quarter say for example we have a highest possible score of 100 and then we have uh, seven classes for the third quarter uh, seven classes for the third quarter 60 once again 60 students each like so but in this case something is different 
I am aware that there are certain teachers who mark their uh, students in their class records with letters uh, in some cases. For example, in this case, this teacher uh, chose to mark absences with the letter A. Some do this with a dash, some do this with uh, some other character or some other letter. In other words, something that is not a number. I'd like to say, tell you teachers that if you copy-paste data like this, that is okay. That is okay. What the template is going to do is, the template is going to find these letters and, you know, the template knowing that uh, these are not uh, numbers, the template is going to ignore all of those completely. So in other words, all of those characters, any character or any blank here will be completely ignored by the template. And the template is going to look at, is only going to count uh, the number of actual numbers here. So you don't have to worry about these other characters, other extra spaces. Just copy paste directly from your class record into the template and you will have your results instantly. So we already copied our third quarter results here. Let's proceed to the printable results uh, quarterly. And then let's pick third quarter. So now that we've uh, set it to third quarter, so here are the metrics for the third quarter. You will see the classes, the cities, uh, used as the sections for the third quarter. And then you have here the raw assessment scores, once again, neatly arranged in descending order, all of them ready to print. So in this case, we have three active pages. So we just print one, two, three, and you are done. All right, for the fourth quarter, let's push this template to its absolute limit. So highest possible score, 200. And in this case, we have 20 classes of 100, 20 classes of 100 students each. So that's a total of 2,000 classes like so. So you have here uh, 20 sections, 100 students. But do not worry, teachers, for as long as you copy paste, a uh, copy uh, the, uh, the data from your class record and then paste them here, even if you maximize the capacity of the template, all of it is still instant. Just pick fourth quarter here and you have your calculations over here. So sum of all raw scores, 338,000. And then you have here uh, all of the per class metrics and then all of your classes here. Uh, signature is over here on the first page. And then once again, the template just neatly arranges everything for you. You don't have to format anything. You don't have to uh, rearrange columns. You don't have to resize things. You don't have to play around with your print area. All of it just ready. All of it just instant. So it's all here for you. In this case, 10 active pages. So just set it here because you have 10 active pages, 1 to 10, print pages 1 to 10 again on A4 and you're done. Although it doesn't happen all the time, there are certain schools, there are certain regions or divisions that require not only uh, the results in a per quarter basis but also require results in an overall basis. So we have here on the lower left corner of the screen, you have here another tab which says results all. So let's click on that. And you have here the overall results uh, printable page. Once again, this is ready to print. No problem there. For as long as you have the data for all four quarters already. So you have here the metrics for all four quarters ready to print. So this is just one page, by the way, also printable on A4. So let's print that. Uh, set that one from page one to one. This is just one page ready to print for as long as you already have the data for all four quarters. Now, please note, my dear teachers, that if in case uh, you don't like the logos that are presented here, for example, you need, uh, you want your own school's logo to appear here and not the logo of the Department of Education, um, what you can actually do is you can actually remove that logo because that logo is uh, removable. You can insert another logo here. Just be sure to uh, remove the logo for all 10 avail available pages and insert the logo for your school for all 10 available pages. Also, uh, scrolling down here, uh, you can also insert, if in case you don't want to sign this live, you can also insert a uh, signature here for yourself or the signature here for uh, whoever is going to approve this. You can edit 
uh, you can uh, insert pictures into this template for this page and you can also insert pictures you can replace this logo here then you can insert pictures or rather uh, signatures here in the prepared by part and the checked and approved by part this is why i mentioned a while ago that this template is also usable usable for private schools there are certain private schools for uh for esc purposes or for other assessment uh, for other accreditation purposes that they also use the same format for the quarterly assessment results for the assessment results of the department of education so in this case this is usable for them primarily because um there is no limit as to the subject that they can put in here because of course uh, private schools have uh, certain subjects that are not available in the dep the dep ed curriculum and of course private schools have their own logos that they may want to put here so all of that is editable in this template so not only can public schools use this private schools can use this as well so my fellow teachers if you like this video if you like the contents if you like the template uh, once again please like this video on youtube please like it please share this video to your fellow teachers and drop a comment down below once again it will really help with the youtube algorithm and help those who are searching for this to find it so that's it for the conlectio one assessment summary template i hope i earned your subscription today once again i am carlo and this is carlo excels thank you very much for watching